So if you're thinking about making a move to Henderson, Nevada, then you're gonna to wanna to stick around because in this video, we're gonna take you through Henderson on a map. That way you can get a good idea and the orientation of where it is in proximity to Las Vegas, the airport, and other local hotspots. And also, if you checked out our other video on the full Henderson vlog, this will kind of help put into context so you can always check that out after this one. And we're gonna get into it right now. <laughs> If you are new to this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad about living in Las Vegas, Nevada, and the surrounding areas like Henderson, then please subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Las Vegas. My name is Mark Pepe, and the team and I get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Las Vegas. We are passionate about removing the stress of relocating to a completely new city and state. As a real estate professional here, it doesn't matter whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days. Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and we'll be more than happy to help you make a smooth move to Las Vegas. So let's get into it. Let's jump into my computer and take a look at the city of Henderson. So here we are taking a look at the Henderson and Las Vegas Valley. Now Henderson, unlike other areas like Summerlin and Spring Valley, it's its own city separate from Las Vegas and unincorporated Clark County with its own jurisdiction and city hall. When the city incorporated in 1953, at the time had a population of 7,400 people and was only 13 square miles in size. Today, the city of Henderson has grown to more than 107 square miles and is the second largest city in the state of Nevada with a population over 332,000 people and growing. In fact, it has grown 15% in the last two and a half years alone. There's also so much new development currently happening both in terms of residential and commercial that further elevates the city as a premier destination. Now, as you can see from this map, uh, the size of Henderson, when I talk about 107 square miles, all the way from Lake Las Vegas, which we'll talk about here in a second, all the way down to the south and by the 15 um, if you're coming from LA. Uh, so I know in some other major metropolitan areas like Southern California, the size can easily be four to five separate cities and suburbs. The way Henderson has developed over the years, they have really done a phenomenal job at keeping a wonderful sense of community within each of the 27 unique neighborhoods. So you don't feel like you live in a large city at all. In fact, the city's official slogan, a place to call home, reflects a community that enjoys small town values while benefiting from neighboring city, large cities like Las Vegas. So I wanna break down for you how Henderson remains such a small town feel. It breaks down to, to four different areas. And these four different areas look like this. The first is the east side, which encompasses uh, Lake Las Vegas and including Cadence, which I'll mention here in a second, it's about right over here. So you've got uh, Lake Las Vegas, which is an incredible resort community that was built around a man-made 230 acre freshwater lake. It's got breathtaking views and unparalleled amenities. It's also very close in proximity to Hoover Dam and Lake Mead, which is right over here. Lake Mead is a big body water here. And then Hoover Dam is right over here. While in Henderson, it's only a 30 minute drive to Las Vegas Strip. Um, it has that feeling of being far enough away from the hustle and bustle, but yet close enough to all the action that Las Vegas has to offer. Uh, I mentioned Cadence is also right over here as well. And Cadence is another newer master plan community. It's an active community for all ages with a number of events for the whole family at affordable price points. It has school inside there as well, a number of parks, great newer community on the east side of town. You've got Old Henderson, which is this area right in here. It encompasses all this area here. And Old Henderson includes downtown on Water Street, which is right on the edge here. And it has, again, I mentioned older community uh, that has more affordable houses as well. Uh, then you've got Mid Henderson, which encompasses this area right in here. That come around here. And Mid Henderson includes 
uh, communities like Green Valley, which was developed in the late 70s. So Green Valley is all this area in here. Uh, started in the late, uh, late 70s and has expanded through the 80s. Provides a more mature neighborhood with lots of trees and greenery. Then you have Green Valley Ranch, which is this area right in here. Okay. And then you have Green Valley South, which is just south of the 215 freeway right in here. Green Valley Ranch was built in the, in the late 80s. Green Valley Ranch started in the mid 90s. Uh, then you've got McDonald Highlands and McDonald Ranch, which is this area right up in here, right here. And these two areas are some of the most expensive homes in all of Henderson, with some, some of the homes with phenomenal views of the Las Vegas Valley. And then we've got in, in, some incredible new communities like Midnight Ridge, Axis, and Eskaya. And those neighborhoods are right in here, right on the edge here of Mid Henderson. And you got to check those videos out. We'll have some additional videos as well of those communities. Phenomenal views of the Las Vegas Valley on some large size lots that are typically smaller, uh, excuse me, that are not the norm. Some of the newer areas within Henderson have some of the smaller lots, but these communities do have some larger lots um, as well. And then you got West Henderson, which is this area all in here. Oh, I want to be on this right before the 15 here. It kind of cuts off right here before the 15. And in West Henderson, you've got seven hills. Uh, which is right over here in this area here, okay? And then you've got Anthem and Anthem Highlands, which is up in here, okay? And then you've got uh, Madera Canyon, and Madera Canyon is really right at the top up here, right against Sloan Canyon up here. Uh, great community, there's a guard gated community in, in, in Madera Canyon called The Club, wonderful community, again, away from the hustle and bustle, but just a wonderful, peaceful, quiet, a community of the club at Madeira Canyon. And then you've got obviously the booming development of, of Inspirata and that encompasses all this area right in here. Now Inspirata, it's just a true sense of community with endless activities, five amazing parks, picnic areas, and community pools for a dynamic lifestyle. So uh, that kind of encompasses the different areas of, of Henderson. So as I mentioned, with the four pockets, it really brings down the size of Henderson and really makes it have a more sense of community feel and not like you're living in a city that's got 332,000 people. So again, that's the way it breaks down. Again, as you can see in proximity, again, really Henderson takes up about a third of the Las Vegas Valley. As I've mentioned in past videos, this Las Vegas Valley as a whole is really not that large of a metro area for 2.5 million people. You've got really about from north to south, you got about 27, 28 miles. And then from east to west, you've got roughly, again, the 27 miles, 28 eight miles from east to west as well. So um, again, from a commuting standpoint, um, makes it pretty easy. And in fact, let's talk about the freeway system here in, in the Las Vegas Valley. And the major freeways are the 515, that start here, um, 515. Starts right here, comes up around 515, again, into downtown Las Vegas, around the 95 will take you all the way up through to Reno if you take it far enough uh, north. Then you have 215 Beltway, which is the major uh, freeway that handles right in the middle of Henderson, comes around south here, and then we'll head up through by the airport and around Spring Valley, up to Summerlin South, into Summerlin, um, all the way up here, and then you got Centennial Hills up here, and it wraps around like a big loop all the way up here, and eventually we'll end the 15. That's the 215. Then you have the 15 that starts down here from, if you're coming from LA, uh, you know it very well, you come on the 15 up here, um, all the way through, uh, you've got Southern, Southern Highlands on the left, um, you've got Henderson on the right, and you come through um, right past the uh, strip into downtown Las Vegas, into North Las Vegas, and if you take the 15 far enough, it will take you through uh, into Utah. So again, the, uh, these are the major freeway systems. Oh, I've almost forgot to mention as well, uh, the uh, Summerlin Parkway, which uh, connects um, right to the 95 uh, freeway right here. So again, if you live in Summerlin, easy hop jump over to uh, um, into downtown Las Vegas here. So the strip is right here. And again, the strip is not part of the city of Las Vegas, un unincorporated part of Las Vegas. Um, so the strip part here, and again, as I mentioned, traffic-wise, 
The only area you really want to avoid traffic-wise would be the 15 stretch, which is the spaghetti bowl, this area right in here. And uh, the spaghetti bowl, with, they call it spaghetti bowl because it's where the 15, the 515, and 95 all intersect. And so this area here can bottleneck it during rush hour traffic. And when I say rush hour traffic, if you're coming from major metropolitan areas like LA, New York, Chicago, Houston, again, these areas, our bottleneck is nothing like uh, your bottleneck. Um, this will add another 10 to 15 minutes um, to your trap to your uh, drive time versus I'm sure in your areas could be another hour or two hours depending on um, where you live. Um, but again, this is uh, the area here. And then if you can avoid during the late afternoon, evening times and on weekends, uh, the, the 15 stretch here, this is where this uh, area again gets a little bit more hectic uh, with traffic with the uh, uh, visitors coming in from out of town. So as you can see, living in Henderson over here in the south, you've got the 515, you've got the 215, you've got the 15, you've got access to major freeways to get around town. And again, from, from one end of town, if you had to drive from East Henderson, again, like I said, Lake Las Vegas area, if you got to get to the strip, you're looking at a 30 minute drive, give or take. It's not too bad at all when it comes to south part of town. In Inspirata, you jump on the 15 here off of Volunteer. Um, you jump on the 15 here. And again, you're in, in by the strip within 15 minutes, give or take. So it's not that bad of a drive at all. So while Henderson may seem, again, seem far south a bit out of the way, again, with the accessibility of the roads and the freeways, again, it, it's a very convenient, quick, anywhere from a 20 to 30 minute drive around town. Airport access, so let's show you where airport is at. Um, actually, there's two airports I, want, I wanted to highlight. The first airport and the major one is uh, Harry Reid International Airport, which is just recently renamed from McCarran International Airport earlier this year. And the quickest way to get to the airport, if you are living in, let's say the east part of Henderson, you can take the 215 right through here. Actually, you can hop on your Lake Mead, if you, from Lake Las Vegas and Cadence. You can take Lake Mead all the way down um, here. And you can take the 215 all the way up here and into the airport connector right here, right in the airport. Now, if you live over here in Whitney Ranch, um, an older part of Henderson, you can take Sunset, which is this road right here. It'll take you right into the airport, or you can take uh, Russell, which is this street right here. It'll take you to the airport right here. If you live on the south part of town, south part in, in the West, uh, West Henderson, you can, again, you, uh, hop on off of, let's see if you live in Sprata, you live in Seven Hills, Madera Canyon, you can take Volunteer to the 15, and the 15 are right here, to the 215 and around, right into the airport connector right here. And then if you live in Green Valley, uh, again, same as, as, as well, hop on the 215, right through here, airport connector, right to the airport. So there's, again, numerous ways to get to the airport, depending on what part of town, what part of Henderson you live in, there's multiple ways to get there. And again, you're anywhere from a, a 10, 15, 20 minute drive max to Reed International Airport. The second airport is Henderson Executive Airport, and that airport is located right here. And that is a small commuter airport, mostly private jets um, that will fly into Henderson Executive. It's also a backup um, to um, the Kieran, should they ever need it. And that's located right here, right outside of Inspirata and Seven Hills. Um, right uh, not far off of St. Rose Parkway, which is this street right here. Let's talk about the shopping. So shopping, the first is what I really want to highlight is the Galleria Mall. Now the Galleria Mall is your traditional, and that's located right here on the east side of town. Uh, the Galleria Mall is more of your traditional mall. It's two stories, it's indoors. You know, the anchor stores are Dillard's, uh, and Ma uh, Dillard's, Macy's, and Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, right here off of the uh, 515 and Sunset. So if again, you want more of that traditional feel, um, that, is, that is right here. The next is the District of Green Valley Ranch. That is right off of the 215 in Green Valley Parkway. This is a mixed use, uh, well-designed development. Uh, the outdoor shopping center includes, uh, on the ground level, has a unique blend of specialty and nationally branded stores like Pottery Barn and Sephora. There's also some great restaurants as well. Uh, the upper floors are condos and offices within uh, the district. 
Uh, the architecture provides a European style building with cobblestone walkways. So it's a really unique, slower pace, I would say shopping center than some of the other shopping centers in town. Great hotspot for locals in Henderson. Um, and then at the end, again, it's definitely a great place to visit if you're looking to get away from uh, the busyness or the busy shopping centers of, of Las Vegas. Then you've got Town Square and Town Square is located right here. Town Square is another outdoor mall that features 130 stores and restaurants. Because of its location, it attracts locals and visitors from out of town. Very easy to get off of the 215 right at Las Vegas Boulevard right here. Uh, then we have two main outlet malls in the Las Vegas Valley. We have the Las Vegas Premium Outlets North, which is this shopping center right here. It is an outdoor mall with again, 150 plus retail shops and has a food court as well. It is off of Charleston and, and the 15, so very easy access off the 15. The South Outlet Malls, located right here, right here, is off of Las Vegas Boulevard. It's an indoor outlet mall, also has 150 plus retail shops, uh, nationally branded uh, shops that you'd recognize as well, and an indoor food court uh, as well. So two outlet malls to choose from, north and south, with some great shop. Next, we have downtown Summerlin, which is on the west side of town, right over here. And downtown Summerlin has over 125 regional and branded retail shops, including Macy's, Dillard's, H&M, and Nike. There's also 30 plus great bars and restaurants in downtown Summerlin. Great, great shopping center um, in the summer, right in the heart of, of downtown Summerlin. Uh, then we have Fashion Show Mall, which is located right on the strip off of Spring Mountain. And because of its location, it's going to have a lot more tourists and visitors. So if you want to stay out of the hustle and bustle and want to stay away from the tourists, this is probably not the mall you really want to visit. Uh, but if you don't mind being busy with um, quite a few visitors and tourists, then um, you're going to love this mall because it has some great anchor stores like Neiman Marcus and Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, again, right, on the, right in the heart of the strip. Um, with a lot happening. So that is again, right off of Spring Mountain and 15 Freeway. All right, let's switch gears now. We're gonna talk about professional sports, which is growing like wildfire here in the Las Vegas Valley. Uh, we have, first off, we have the Henderson Silver Knights. It's the newest team in town. It's our minor league affiliate uh, to the Las Vegas or the Vegas Golden Knights hockey team. They practice at Lifeguard Arena, which is in downtown Henderson on Water Street. It is also open to the public for ice skating as well. So it's a great venue to go ice skating if you live on the east side of Henderson. Now, Henderson Silver Knights play their home games at the brand new Dollar Loan Center. This uh, just opened up um, a few months ago, uh, right off of Green Valley Parkway, right adjacent to the district at Green Valley Ranch. And that's where the Henderson Silver Knights play their home games. It's also home to the Vegas Nighthawks of the Indoor Football League. So you got some indoor football as well, arena football at the Dollar Loan Center. Next, we have the Intermountain Healthcare Performance Center, which is a facility and world headquarters to the Las Vegas Raiders, located right off of Executive Airport and Raiders Way now, right here in West Henderson. The facility is only a couple of years old. Our practices are closed to the public, but a few times during the season, they will open it up. So it's a great time to uh, check out that wonderful new facility that the, uh, the uh, Las Vegas Raiders call home. Right next door to the uh, Intermountain Healthcare Performance Center is going to be home to the Las Vegas Aces of the WNBA. Uh, they are currently building a 50,000 square foot facility that will house the, the practice facility, the executive offices, and the training room. It is expected to be completed later this year. And again, we'll be home to Las Vegas Aces. Next, we have Allegiant Stadium, which is located right here off the 15 freeway in Russell. It is the home to the Las Vegas Raiders, the, uh, their home games. And also in a couple of years, we'll host the Super Bowl. So it hosts obviously with the Raiders, the Super Bowl will come in a couple of years, but also major concerts, conventions as well. Brand new state-of-the-art, um, one of the best stadiums in all, in all the country. Just north of, of Allegiant Stadium, you have T-Mobile Arena. T-Mobile Arena is home to the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, all the home games are played there. Uh, you also have UFC fight nights four or five times a year there, and a number of concerts as well. Uh, it is off of uh, Dean Martin, which is easy to get off to. Yep, Russell and Dean Martin, very easy to get to off of the 15. 
T-Mobile Arena is one of the busiest arenas in the country due to so many events that take place here in Las Vegas. So very, very popular arena and always something going on. The next venue I wanted to point out is a bit north. And this is off of 15. You've got the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, which is up here in the north part of town, not far from Nellis Air Force Base, which is right here. So just, uh, just north of Nellis Air Force Base, Las Vegas Motor Speedway, which is home to two NASCAR events every year in March and October. In fact, in October, I believe it's one of the uh, playoff races for NASCAR. And then you have in every May, you have the Electronic Daisy Carnival, which is short for EDC. And that it brings in a couple hundred thousand people every year in May for that big carnival festival. In December, there is the glittering lights, over I think a couple million lights that are around the perimeter of the speedway where you can sit and drive in your car, not even get out of it, and drive around the perimeter of the speedway to lights, music, different themes. It's just a fantastic place to bring your family during the holiday time frame to really get you in that festive mood. Uh, next, I wanna take you over to Summerlin and we've got the Las Vegas Ballpark, which is located right here if I can, Find it first. Las Vegas Ballpark, here you go. It's home to the Las Vegas Aviators, which is our AAA minor league baseball team. Uh, this stadium even has a swimming pool, as you can see from this picture, in right center field. Uh, and there's also rumors that a major league baseball team will be relocating to Las Vegas in the near future as well. So we got the minor league team and the major league team may be soon coming here in the near future. So stay tuned to that as well. And then right next door to the Las Vegas ballpark, you have City National Arena. And City National Arena is headquarters to the Vegas Golden Knights practice facility. And during the season, the team will allow um, some practices to be open during the public. So it's a great place to see the players up close and personal. And there's also two ice rinks at the venue, similar to Lifeguard Arena, has two ice rinks that is open to the public year round. So you've got sports venues in Henderson, you've got sports venues in the heart of uh, Las Vegas, north of Las Vegas up here with uh, the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And then on the west side of town in Summerlin, you've got the Las Vegas Ballpark and you've got City National Arena. So as I mentioned, sports has just become a, a hotbed. Las Vegas has just become a hotbed for professional sports and minor league sports as well. So there's more coming. I wouldn't, like I mentioned to you, Major League Baseball. It wouldn't surprise me if the NBA decides to call Las Vegas home in the near future as well. So stay tuned to that. But some great options if you want to catch a game in person, some great options to do so. Next, I want to talk about the uh, Henderson Schools. The Henderson Schools are 72 public schools rated good or higher by the greatschools.org and also has 32 private and charter schools. Now the ratings and graduation rates at most of Henderson schools are some of the highest in the Las Vegas Valley. A couple I wanna highlight are Pinecrest Inspirata up in the Inspirata area right here. Uh, that is a K through eighth grade school. And then you've got down here in Seven Hills, you've got Frank Lamping Elementary, Seven Hills. And then down in Green Valley Ranch area, you've got Bob Miller Middle School. Then also in the uh, Green Valley North area, you've got Green Valley High School. Uh, so these are the four schools I wanted to point out. As I mentioned, there's always over, over 72 public schools, 32 private schools, uh, but these are the four that I mentioned that are, are great ratings that are around town. There is, uh, again, no shortage of schools to choose from in Henderson for your kids. So if education's important, Henderson's a great city to live in to find great education for your kids. Uh, next is the Parks and Recs. Now, uh, the Henderson is, is really known for its Parks and Recs. It's award-winning, has won some awards. Uh, there's 69 total parks on nearly 1,400 acres with a variety of amenities, uh, playgrounds, sports fields, uh, courts, tennis courts, basketball courts, and, and splash pads and more. You know, the city has done a really good job at upkeeping these parks, keeping them clean and well-maintained, which some other areas outside of Las Vegas Valley cannot be, cannot be said for the same, but here in town, in the Las Vegas Valley, and specifically in Henderson, they really do a great job of upkeeping the parks and keeping it clean. There's also more than 220 miles of mixed use trails and 20 dog parks as well. So if you've got a four-legged friend, um, there's plenty of dog parks to take your uh, loved one to, to take them on a walk there. Also wanted to point out a couple of the more popular parks. First, we've got uh, Mission Hills here on 
the uh, bordering the Old Henderson and East Henderson off of the 515. Um, you've got um, uh, Mission Hills Park, which has, uh, it's on 22 acres with numerous activities and lots of nicely manicured grass. Uh, a, a great park, a large park on the east side of town. Then more in the midtown, you've got off of Stephanie and uh, Paseo Verde Parkway, you've got Reunion Trails Park. And this has one of the best splash pads in the city and a few different types of playgrounds for different age groups. This park also connects to a number of walking trails as well. And then we've got Aventura Park up in uh, Inspirata. Aventura Park is off of Via Ferenz. It's one of the newer parks um, in the city of Henderson, also in, in Inspirata. It includes a pool, tennis courts, soccer and baseball fields, and a grass volleyball court as well. It is easy to walk to from within the growing community of Inspirata. You know, there's also 13 aquatic centers located at seven recreation centers throughout the city of Henderson, including the largest facility called the Henderson Multi-Generational Center in Green Valley Ranch, which is right here, right off of Green Valley Parkway, very close to the district. So again, numerous parks, 69 parks, as I mentioned, all spread out all over town. So there's just so much to do here in the city of Henderson. Next, I want to talk about golf. There are 10 immaculate golf courses and clubs around Las Vegas. Now there's three of them to discuss. And that first one is in Lake Las Vegas. And that is called Reflection Bay. Uh, Reflection Bay is a championship golf course right on the lake. Great golf out in Lake Las Vegas. Second, we have Dragon Ridge uh, Golf Club, which is in McDonald Highlands. Phenomenal views of Las Vegas Valley right in the McDonald Highlands community. Next, we have Rio Seco Golf Club, and that is right in the community of Seven Hills. Uh, again, elevated tee boxes, great views of the Las Vegas Valley as well. So again, there are seven other golf clubs around town that you can't, uh, that you're not gonna wanna miss. Um, some great golf if you're a golf fanatic. I also wanted to highlight a few other attractions uh, that are very popular, but aren't always talked about. That kind of makes sense. And that includes, the first one is a lion habitat. Yes, a lion habitat um, right in West Henderson off of Bruner and St. Rose. Now there's currently 40 lions and seven cubs. It's an up close view of the lions that in many ways are treated like loved family pets. These lions are kept in enclosures, obviously, and are only a few feet away from you behind fences. You can also feed the animals as well. So if you want an experience like, like none other, you've got to check out this lion habitat. I took my kids to it when they were younger and they absolutely loved it. Another unique experience over here on the um, uh, east um, old part of Henderson is the Henderson Bird Viewing Preserve. It's off of Galleria. I'll zoom in here a little bit so you can see a little closely here. Right off of Galleria, you've got, again, the uh, 140 acres of nine ponds surrounded by many trees and greenery. You can spend hours just walking around the preserve, seeing at any given time, 35 to 40 bird species. There are several trails that loop around and in between the ponds where you could easily walk a couple of miles. So if you wanna get in your walking for the day and see some beautiful scenery, um, and, and check out some amazing bird species, then the Henderson Bird Preserve is a great place to go. Right next down the street, you've got the Calabunga Bay Water Park. And the Calabunga Bay Water Park is a place that has over 25 attractions, including several unique water slides, including the tallest and the fastest in the state of Nevada called Zuma. Uh, there is also a 35,000 square foot wave pool and an endless lazy river. So it's a great place to visit to beat the summer heat. Uh, there's also uh, also Calabunga Bay um, on the uh, 215 over here as well. It used to be called Wet n Wild, is now called the Calabunga Bay Water Park as well on the south uh, west part of town in Spring Valley. Two great water parks to choose from, but if you're living in Henderson, right in your backyard, you've got Calabunga Bay Water Park. Uh, next, I wanna talk about the Henderson Resorts. There are uh, five of them I wanted to highlight. The first one I want to talk about, Weston, has over 500 rooms, great water amenities as well, has a wonderful spa, 
great place to have a staycation if you're looking to leave home, but stay close to in and around um, Henderson. And then you have the Hilton as well. Again, a little over 300 rooms. Um, it's got that Tuscan Italian feel right on the, overlooking the lake, water activities as well. It's right next to the village as well, in Lake Las Vegas with some uh, shops and restaurants. Um, another wonderful spa as well. So again, another great staycation spot. Uh, next we have over here, we've got Sunset Station, which is part of Station Casinos, which I've mentioned in other videos, is one of the largest operators of hotels and casinos off strip. And Station Casino is one of the older hotels here in Henderson, but still very, very popular with locals. It has a great casino and also has a bowling alley. And next we have uh, Green Valley Ranch, which is right in the heart of Henderson and Green Valley Ranch is one of the more popular hotels, um, not only in Henderson, but in Las Vegas Valley. Um, it has a phenomenal spa, great casino, some great restaurants as well. And again, it literally is right in Green Valley Ranch. So you can participate in the district as well. That has all the shopping there at Green Valley Ranch or at the district. Uh, next we have the M Resort and that is located right here. It also has a casino, has a spa. It is the official headquarter hotel for the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, and if you're driving to and from Southern California, uh, it's the first or last resort, depending on which direction you're traveling from, in the Las Vegas Valley. It actually sits on Las Vegas Boulevard. It's away, it's quite a ways from the Strip. As you can see, you can take this road all the way up and we'll take you eventually, if I move the map up, all the way into the Strip here. Right off of St. Rose Parkway and the 15. Great, great upscale uh, resort. I hope this video gives you a good overview of Henderson and all that it has to offer. I hope you found this video beneficial and provided you with a valuable understanding of the proximity of how to get around Henderson and where the major interest points are at. If this part of the town interests you, I am confident we will find you the perfect home as you relocate to Henderson. So please like and share this video. Please subscribe below. Uh, and comment if you have any questions or found this video helpful. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, uh, or send us an email. You can, even, you can even schedule a Zoom meeting below. Uh, we are passionate about helping people make a smooth and stress-free move to Henderson and Las Vegas. So until next time, we hope to see you around this amazing town.